Okay, so we're going to create this object and this object um, is 2.5 in height. We started by creating a footprint. So hopefully you've done the footprint just like I did in AutoCAD. Okay, so here's my footprint and I want to raise this by 2.5. If I use the extrude command, I can extrude a line 2.5, but it creates a wall, right? So we don't want to use extrude command uh, if they are separate lines. So if you made them out of a polyline, then you can use extrude command. So what we're going to use here is called the press pull command. So P R E S S, press pull. And what the press pull does is you simply point to the inside of an enclosed space. And the press pull command will automatically detect the boundaries. So simply click on the space inside. You're not clicking on any line. This is space. So click on it. And just like extrude, you can drag it up now and type in the height that you want, 2.5, and then press enter. Okay. So just like the press pull command, uh, just like the extrude command, the press pull um, will create an extrusion, but you don't need to select lines. Okay. So the lines are actually still here in the bottom. So there's one line there, there's another line here, and then there's, so you can select all of your uh, footprint here. They're still in the bottom of the line, of the uh, press pull. Uh, but um, the press pull command automatically makes a boundary out of all this enclosed space, okay? So if you don't need them, you can erase them. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm simply going to move this new object, okay, somewhere um, to the right or to the left, and go like that. So I, you can see, I still have my, I still have my uh, footprint, and I now have my object here. 